Hey everyone, welcome back to Impossible Color. Today's video is the first of a four-part series that will teach you how to apply makeup in Photoshop. Today I'll be covering foundation and concealer. Make two duplicate layers of your background layer and name the top one concealer and the bottom one foundation. Just turn the visibility of your concealer off and we're going to apply a Gaussian blur of your foundation layer. I want you to pick a value that blurs out the skin but doesn't lose all the features of the face. I go back to your concealer layer and we're going to go to image, apply image. And make sure you're applying it to the layer below, which is foundation. Set your blending to sub subtract, your scale to 2, and your offset to 128. I'm going to put both of these layers into a group and call it base, just so that we can turn it on and off and see the changes as we go. On the concealer layer, set your blending mode for your layer to linear light, and you won't see any changes yet. Now on the foundation layer, we're going to blur a lot of the details here. So grab little segments of skin that are in, in, in areas that are very similar and just give it a nice blur. If it's a large, if your portrait takes up most of the image, a value of 20 might be good, but really depend on your own image. So basically we're just going to break up the whole face into different segments here and Try to blend all these areas that may have blemishes or imperfections and get this all nice and smooth. Now these are the very broad shapes that may affect your skin. Not so much the fine details. We'll be dealing with those in the concealer. Now this model actually has pretty good skin to begin with, but we're going to do some tricks that will exaggerate the imperfections to help us get it even better. Now you can also use a brush set to color if you have any blemishes like red spots in the face or anything like that and you don't want to distort the shape, you just want to get rid of the color. But just using your brush tool you can paint those out easily. And you can see that we've come a long way already from the initial and this is just working on the foundation. You can also use the brush set to normal. You have other areas that you want to smooth out. For example, some darkness around the eyes or any bumps on the skin. Or even if you're just your shadows from your photo are distracting from the portrait. And that looks pretty good to me. You don't want to completely eliminate all the shadows under the eyes or it'll look very plastic. Now you can turn your foundation layer off, so just your concealer layer is showing. And this should be an exaggerated version of your face. It really shows off all the imperfections. It's not really how the model looks, but it's really useful for what we're doing. So you can spot remove any pimples, blackheads, any stray hairs that made the way onto the face, any scarring on the skin that you want to remove. Sometimes the, the model may have cracks or little cuts on the lips. Try not to remove all the pores of the face or your model will look very plastic and unrealistic. And once you feel that you've got pretty much all the, the most difficult areas removed, we're going to turn on the foundation layer again and just do some fine tuning, see if we missed anything dramatic.
And that concludes the foundation and concealer portion of the Photoshop makeup series. I realize there's a lot more work involved than simply blurring or airbrushing away the face, but this method gives a far more realistic look with a lot of natural detail showing through. Thanks for checking out Impossible Color. If you found this video useful, please thumbs up or subscribe with the button below. If you have your own Photoshop makeup tips, please share them in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. Join me next week with part two of the Photoshop makeup series, Contouring.